Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what I promise will be an intriguing journey through the pages of a classic investment masterpiece, Paths to Wealth Through Common Stocks, by the investment guru, Philip A. Fisher. Today, I'm going to distill for you the top 10 insights from Fisher's investment opus. But fear not, this won't be your average dry economics lecture. We're about to embark on a wealth-seeking mission with wit as our co-pilot and wisdom as our compass. Insight one, invest in growth stocks, not just stocks that grow. Hold on to your hats, folks, because Fisher is about to turn your stock market assumptions on their ear. You see, Fisher believed staunchly in growth stocks, companies with the potential to increase earnings at a rate well above the average. But here's the twist. Every stock thinks it's a winner, just like every parent thinks their kid is the best. Fisher wasn't interested in stocks that just show promise. He was looking for the overachievers, the valedictorians of the stock world. He implored us to focus on those unique companies that possess the Midas touch, turning industries on their heads and growth charts into rockets aimed straight for the moon. Insight two, it's about quality, not quantity. Our dear Fisher was something of a gourmet when it came to stock picking. He cherished quality over quantity. In a world stuffed to the gills with mediocre investments, Fisher was scouring the menu for that one five-star stock. He recommended a concentrated portfolio of outstanding companies rather than a broad mix of average ones. It's the equivalent of having a closet full of bespoke suits rather than a mountain of off-the-rack polyester disasters. Always aim for the cream of the crop, my friends, because in the world of investments, as in dairy, the cream always rises to the top. Insight three, scuttlebutt for the win. Well before social media made everyone an armchair analyst, Fisher taught us the value of scuttlebutt, or what we'd now call the grapevine. This isn't your ordinary gossip, though. It's premium-grade corporate intelligence. It involves talking to competitors, suppliers, and customers to get the real scoop on a potential investment. This is Holmes-level detective work, encouraged by Fisher to uncover truths that the balance sheets and income statements of the world might coyly try to hide. You'll find no rumor mill here, just the treasure trove of first-hand information that would pass Vincent and the guy's sniff test. Insight 4. A company is only as good as its people. In this corporate reality show called The Market, Fisher understood that the star performers are often not the products or services, but the people behind them. CEOs with the vision of Steve Jobs, the acumen of Warren Buffett, and the leadership of Nelson Mandela. These are the executives Fisher advised us to bet on. If the leadership team looks like the Avengers of business, you're probably on the right track. Remember, investing in a stock is like casting a movie. You want Tom Hanks at the helm, not Tommy Wiseau. Insight 5. When innovators innovate, investors accumulate. Ah, innovation, the sweet music to Fisher's investment ears. Our visionary was searching for those Beethovens of business, the ones composing symphonies of success through consistent innovation. Companies that can start turning gears before the rest of the world even knows the clock is ticking. For Fisher, being on the forefront of technological or procedural advancements wasn't just cool, it was crucial. So, look for those companies that are rewriting the rule book, not just rereading it. In Fisher's world, Apple would have been the orchard every investor wanted to pluck from. Insight 6, Financials, the bone structure of investment beauty. Like a proud paleontologist, Fisher knew the importance of a good bone structure when unearthing the fossilized remains of financial reports. He wasn't content with superficial glances at profit and loss statements. Oh no, he dug deeper, examining the marrow of margins, the solidity of the balance sheet, and the robustness of research and development spending. This is financial voyeurism at its most insightful. Look beyond the manicured lawns and freshly painted fences Check the foundation and the plumbings. That's what keeps the investment house from crumbling. Insight seven, look for sustainability, not flash in the pan. In the meteoric rise and fall of business trends and fashions, Fisher advised us to invest in companies sporting the timeless little black dress rather than the here today gone tomorrow poodle skirt. He prized sustainability. Companies with competitive advantages sturdy enough to withstand economic hurricanes and market mood swings. These businesses don't merely survive, they evolve. 
thrive and pass on their genetic code of success to future corporate generations. They're the tortoises that beat the hares every time by simply not dying. Insight 8. Management conservatism, the good kind to Fisher. A conservative management didn't mean a boardroom full of cigar-puffing gentlemen refusing to change the company logo since 1903. It meant leaders who treated capital with respect and precaution. Management that didn't gamble away the family silver on a hunch, but also wasn't petrified of calculated risks. To Fisher, the ideal company was one where management possessed the shrewdness of a Vegas card counter. Not playing it too risky, but knowing exactly when to hit or stand. Insight 9. The stock market is a mood ring, not a magic eight ball. One cannot ignore the inescapable truth that the market is emotional, a giant, unpredictable mood ring reflecting the collective psyche of investors worldwide. Fisher acknowledged that stock prices often reflect the hopes, fears, and moods of the general populace, rather than the underlying value of the company. Investing, then, becomes an exercise in psychological warfare. Key is not being swayed by Mr. Market's tempestuous love affair with panic or exuberance. Instead, act with the cool detachment of a heart surgeon performing a bypass on a day trader. Insight 10. Gather ye rosebuds, but don't forget the thorns. Fisher's ultimate wisdom nugget reminds us that opportunity often comes with a prickly side. No investment is risk-free, and the paths to wealth require navigating through the fields of uncertainty and doubt. Fisher preached due diligence, a combination of optimism and unshakable skepticism. When everyone zigs with their bull market mantras, be ready to zag if the signs tell you to. Always carry antivenom. Even the most beautiful flower can harbor the most venomous spider. As we wrap up this merry stroll down Wall Street Wisdom Lane, I hope Philip A. Fisher's words have imprinted on you as indelibly as the buy low, sell high tattoo on that trader's bicep. Investing is as much an art as it is a science. And through Fisher's lens, it's one that requires a blend of cerebral analysis and street smart scrappiness. And with those top 10 insights from paths to wealth through common stocks, I bid you happy hunting in the stock market jungle. May your investments flourish, your portfolios swell, and may you always be on the right side of the scuttlebutt. Thank you. And remember, it's not just about making money. It's about making smart money.